Hello, I'm Rondé Barber, defensive back for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Today I'm here with my friends Kyle and Gavin to talk about a cause my wife and I have been supporting for the past several years, the Friedrichs Ataxia Research Alliance, or FARA. FARA is a nonprofit organization that advances research for Friedrichs Ataxia, or FA, a progressive, life-shortening neuromuscular disease that Gavin and I have. As a pro athlete with the Buccaneers for the past 15 years, my career is based on training my body to perform, spending countless hours building my strength and technical proficiency. While FA affects my balance and coordination, I'm unable to throw and catch a football very well anymore. But I've used my adaptive cycling abilities to build my strength, keep my heart healthy, and to encourage others to be active. We'd like to tell you a little bit about how F.A. makes Kyle's body perform differently in sports than mine does. DNA is a series of codes that gets packaged into genes. And those genes are units of instructions. It's like a quarterback calling the plays, telling your body how to function. Yeah, and the F.A. gene has a series of codes called GAA. Now, Rondé, you and most of the general population have less than 30 GAA repeats on your FA gene. Well, I have 450. Some of my friends with FA have over 1,000. Wow. And those repeats sit on the gene like a roadblock. So it's like a big old center blocking my way to the quarterback then. Exactly. It keeps my body from making a protein called frataxin. And lack of free taxing makes all kinds of things go wrong. So it's as if no one on the field got the play call from the quarterback, and while some guys are off in different directions, others are just standing still. Exactly, and two of the big consequences are that my brain doesn't tell my limbs where they are in space, and my body doesn't make enough energy. Hmm, well one of my favorite drills is wind sprints. It's good for cardio, strength, and agility training, so you're saying, my brain tells my arms and legs where they are in space, so I don't have to think about it. That's right. See, when I walk down the street, I'm constantly concentrating on where my arms and legs are because the signal gets a little messed up. And so I expend a lot of energy just walking. That's why I use a wheelchair, so I can save my energy for the important thing. Like cycling. I've seen you cruising around on your trike. How is cycling easier for you than walking? Well, see, I ride a trike with three wheels and a bucket seat, so I don't have to worry about balance. I have plenty of strength left in my legs, I just have no balance. So I use cycling to keep my body strong, to keep my heart strong, and to stay active. So it appears cycling is your exercise and your treatment for FA. That's right. And while Farah is concentrating on the science, advancing science and research to find treatments and a cure, I am keeping my body as healthy as possible. Join me in helping Farah continue critical scientific progress to find treatments for Kyle, Gavin, and all people with FA. Take action. Donate at curefa.org. Should we all say it together? Yeah. yeah you want to say it? On three, okay? One, two, three. Cure FA! There you go, Gavin. Good job, buddy.